But that, you know, these are, these are shots he wants to do another one. I surprised some of his experiences, you know, he's, he's tucked up nice. A mega fight between UFC and boxing stars may just be right before us again after Conor McGregor fired back at Canelo Alvarez and said he was also ready for a fight with Canelo. Despite Conor McGregor's long injury layoff, he's willing to make a return, not just to the ultimate fighting championship, but to the boxing ring as well. Being the star attraction in the world of mixed martial arts, Conor McGregor is often targeted by his fellow UFC contenders, but the challenges to his name aren't limited to the MMA cage. Even bare-knuckle fighters and boxers push forth their desire to grab a humongous amount of money by fighting McGregor. Flip of this fight, we don't see you mad very often. When you are visibly upset and annoyed, why are you so confident you're going to knock out Edgar Belanga? And the most recent and eye-catching challenge was the one by Canelo Alvarez. Fighting the Mystic Mac sure comes with a massive paycheck. His popularity and ability to hype up a matchup ensures that the arena gets sold out within moments. Needless to say, Alvarez knew this pretty well, and that's why he seems bent on facing McGregor this time without demanding a crazy purse. The last time he stepped into the ring, he made one of boxing's biggest fights against Floyd Mayweather but was totally outclassed in a 10th round technical knockout defeat. And now, seven years later, he's set to do even more by facing the face of boxing in this generation. Surprisingly, I've met this, I've seen things I do, and I know he's waning. Don't fight Canelo, no fucking problem, yeah? Hell straight. Canelo Alvarez isn't asking for some outrageous purse, as he considers Conor McGregor a very, very easy fight, claiming he would knock him out any round he feels. If there was another battle between fighters from the respective sports, Canelo predicts a routine knockout win against McGregor. To this, to fighting Conor McGregor next year. Yeah, well, I know, and and then we show uh, boxing is better. You told me easy money last time. Is that still true for you? Easy money for McGregor? Yeah, easy, easy way. The notorious fired back and claimed he has more than what it takes to fight and defeat Canelo Alvarez as well. I'm a southpaw. Ryder is a southpaw. Pretty Joe is a southpaw. I don't care about all this. I'll fight Canelo. No freaking problem. Ahead of his September 14th showdown with Edgar Berlanga. How soon do you knock him out, you think? Oh, in the other time I want. Canelo Alvarez entertained yet another question about Conor McGregor. Alvarez is locked in for his undisputed super middleweight title defense against Berlanga, which is scheduled to take place inside the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The event will go head to head with UFC 306 which will also be held in Las Vegas at the Sphere, with the two events happening on the same night. Easy, easy, way easy money. H how soon does that fight end? No, we never talk about it, so, but uh, you asking me and I just respond. An MMA-related question ended up making its way to Canelo ahead of fight night, and it involved a notorious UFC star. Manuka Cop recently interviewed Canelo Alvarez to discuss his upcoming matchup with Edgar Berlanga. He's, he's gonna be He's gonna face something different on Saturday. He, he, he's. So, uh, and I just can't wait to, to, to be there. As well as his future, should he get past the Puerto Rican bruiser. When asked about a potential clash with Conor McGregor, the Mexican star had the following to say, yeah, I know. And then we show boxing is better. Alvarez said obviously under boxing rules, Alvarez would easily win. But he says nonetheless, here he is up for the fight. Um, what an event it would be if it happened as some sort of boxing match. McGregor has thrown several barbs towards Alvarez. Oh, nothing. You know, competition is good. And, and May and September are my days and, and competition is good. I don't... I don't, I don't do it in that way, I just focus on my team. Who insists that the UFC's top draw is simply looking for a big payday. Alvarez won't count on McGregor being much of a threat to him in the boxing ring if the matchup were to materialize. Saul Canelo Alvarez said a prospective fight with UFC superstar Conor McGregor would be easy money. Had, uh, had it in the past, how would you beat David Benavidez? With my skill. And anticipated a finish any time he wanted. Boxing's pound-for-pound -pound stalwart Canelo returned Saturday to the ring for the first time since May when he outpointed Jaime Mungia. Alvarez puts his world super middleweight championship belts on the line against Edgar Berlanga at a premier boxing champions pay-per-view on Prime Video. Canelo fights Berlanga on Mexican Independence Day weekend. Fights for you before you retire. Could be, why not? We are in boxing and, and you know, could be. What is the minimum payday you are looking to take those fights? On the same night UFC holds its inaugural, nose-branded event at the $2.3 billion venue, The Sphere, a few miles north from T-Mobile Arena. It has led to a natural boxing versus MMA narrative, 
with whose date is whose and which event could generate the bigger gate or pay-per-view sales. Easy, easy way, easy money. On this head. Bing Mayweather wants to make the, put the fight on the inside. One thing Conor has to still be get a depth. To as far as how long the bout would last, Alvarez said that he'd be the one to dictate the pace at the time I want. Alvarez said one round, two rounds, three rounds, whatever I want. UFC CEO Dana White recently claimed that McGregor will make his way back inside the octagon in 2025. The Irishman was supposed to meet Michael Chandler earlier this year, but a toe injury forced him off the UFC 303 card. There have been crossover fights before, with Floyd Mayweather stopping McGregor on his feet in the 10th round of a comfortable win in what was Money's final pro boxing bout. The way Canelo talks. You and Conor McGregor have been going back and forth in recent months. Fighting him would be a mega event and mean major money for you. A fight against him would be even more straightforward than the 2017 super fight. We show boxing is better, Canelo said in response to Fight Hub TV's question regarding a possible bout between him and the UFC's former two-weight champion. Conor McGregor is on a losing run of late, with only one win in his last five fights in all combat sports. He went on to lose by submission to Khabib Nurmagomedov in 2018, before rebounding with a lightning quick striking win over Donald Cerrone in 2020. In the second and third installments of his Dustin Poirier trilogy, McGregor got knocked out cold in 2021 before suffering a broken leg. Face comfortable in, some, in, in those spots. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. And a doctor stoppage later that same year. The Irishman has been linked with a UFC return and even had a scheduled bout June 29th against Michael Chandler. However, he withdrew from the contest citing a broken pinky toe. He is yet to fight again. Uh, McGregor rather using that jab and a straight left hand. He hasn't landed that punch. Perhaps because of this that Canelo believes he'd be able to toy with McGregor. I'd knock him out at the time I want, he said. 12 rounds, two rounds, three rounds, whatever I want. Another fighter linked with Canelo is four-weight boxing champion Terence Crawford, who fought on August 3rd at Stadium against Israel Madoff, winning on points. The nature of his win was a stark contrast to how he bludgeoned, bullied, and beat down his great welterweight rival Errol Spence Jr. in an all-time great thrashing last year. It has created talking points that Crawford's ceiling is super welterweight and that he may not be able to dominate fighters as easily at 154 LBs as he was able to at 147 and below. Canelo drove that talking point home in his interview this week with Fight Hub TV. <laughs> We saw in the last fight with him, said Canelo. That's why there are weight classes, he continued. That's what I think. An easy fight for me. He's moving a lot. A good fighter, good boxer, but I will figure him out. McGregor does not seem close to a comeback to the UFC or professional boxing at the moment, seen drinking beer in New Jersey overnight. Many think he will be back at some point, however, in boxing as more and more UFC fighters and MMA fighters continue to have more professional and other boxing matches all the time in the sweet science. But the question that pops up next is whether the UFC head honcho will allow McGregor to take up the fight or not. Well, chances are White won't let it happen anytime soon. The Notorious still has a couple of fights left in his UFC contract, and he has yet to make a comeback from his three-year-long hiatus. McGregor is indeed the star attraction of the mixed martial arts realm. He is the sole reason why millions of people got hooked on the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Who in his sane mind would let an attraction like McGregor go away? The Dubliner lost his prime years to inactivity and an extended injury layoff. If you can update if there is a John Jones card in November that we don't <laughs> There's know not yet, but, but there will be. Um, there's not yet, and... Uh... That being said, the UFC will profit the most only if they deploy the Irishman and let him complete all the fights in his contract while he still has the chance to win. This was reflected in a recent talk White had with the boxing journalist Manuka Kopian on his YouTube talk show. When the reporter asked White if fight fans could see McGregor versus Alvarez, the UFC CEO let out a hearty laugh. He shut down all further questions about the matchup by saying, Let's put a pin on that. Alvarez, however, wants to fight sooner than ever. He has been calling McGregor out for quite some time now. Connor tweets, God, because I went on a little rant. I was excited to go on my rant about the Austrian because I was like, ha ha, finally, like it's been four years, fight whatever many years. And things seem to have taken flight with the duo engaging in an online war. The rivalry between McGregor and Alvarez has been spewing some heat, but when the boxing champion asked for $200 million to fight David Benevitz after taking his shot at Edgar Berlanga, McGregor couldn't keep quiet and lashed out at Alvarez. Taking to X, he wrote, Canelo is a cornflake. 
He has about 300k buys in him. He does not generate anything near what he seeks to be paid. UFC is not going to run them from the strip. Shake Turkey was right. Moving on. Canelo doesn't sell, whatever many years. While the chances of the fight materializing in a span of a couple of years are pretty low, the hype that the names carry is something that has made the fighting community speculate the outcomes. McGregor, being a star MMA fighter, is pretty dependent on his kicks and grappling prowess, apart from his boxing skills. Taking these skills away from him will indeed render him a bit weak against an opponent who has been in the sport for a pretty long time. After all, that's exactly why the Notorious lost the fight against Floyd Mayweather. In MMA, it's quite interesting to see fans get stimulated by fighters like Shao Ali. That one drove me, that one drove me a little crazy. I'm like, really, motherfucker? You know, like, this is science. I posted the scientific page. It was on uh, the science about it, which was good, like, People are like, damn, that's legit. During McGregor's absence, comparisons to Conor McGregor have been drawn since Shao Ali's emergence onto the international stage in 2017. From fans to media members to UFC CEO Dana White, many viewers see similarities between the two stars. Much of the discussion has centered around the unique ability of the two fighters to emerge as draws. Om Ali himself has acknowledged the analogy in the past, but especially so on the cusp of Saturday's UFC 306 at Sphere. In his estimation, he's finally within reaching distance of McGregor's star power. I think I'm close to his star power, Ali told MMA Junkie and other reporters at a pre-fight news conference Wednesday. Connor still got one more big fight in him because it's a big question mark. Like, can Connor come back? Can he actually beat Michael Chandler? I think Connor has one more huge fight. If he goes out there and loses his next fight, it'll be like six in a row or something. It's gotta die down eventually, maybe not. That just tests how big of a star he is, but I'd assume he goes out there, and if he loses, I'm there. I'm the guy, I'm the one. While the future remains unclear as McGregor's return gets pushed back further and further by the week, his place in MMA history is largely solidified. Whether it's his iconic knockout of Jose Aldo, or his elite striking showcase versus Eddie Alvarez, or his rivalries against Nate Diaz and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Um, don't, don't, I was thinking about that. I'm like, why is he not a fan of you or supporting you? You've been jealous. always such a big supporter of him. He's a jealous bitch. Cool. I think, That's what it is. I, uh, I, I, I think he could feel... McGregor provided some of the most notable moments ever. So what does Ali have going for him that McGregor doesn't? Well, as Om Ali pointed out, he's actually been fighting. UFC 306 will mark his fifth fight since McGregor's most recent competition. I bring fights, Om Ali said. I fight often. I think that's what it is right now. Connor was good on the mic. The accent, the words that he chose, he was very good on the mic and he had a couple of good performances. But I'm just consistent right now. I'm fighting a lot, that's what I bring. McGregor is a tough act to replicate, but an opportunity like fighting at Sphere has that once-in-a-lifetime feel that Om um Ali has long sought. This is what I wanted, Om um Ali said. Obviously, we didn't even know the Sphere was a thing at those times, but I wanted one-of-a-kind moments. This was it. As for Canelo and McGregor, they've had a long history of feuds, with one of the most recent incidents being the time when Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo Alvarez came close to a brawl at Canelo's press conference. It got so bad that the notorious Conor McGregor deleted the tweet, but I went on a little rampage. I was just sitting in my, it was uh, it was that Monday that Tammy died. I was in Vegas at my hotel room waiting for go to my face-offs. Had a suggestion for how Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo Alvarez could settle their differences. And of course, it involves the 51-year-old former champion stepping back in the ring albeit under a different set of rules. I'd love these two to go at it in the bare knuckle fighting championship. Take off the gloves and fight, fools. During the final press conference, it instead became Oscar De La Hoya, Munguia's co-promoter and the former promoter of Alvarez, who drew Alvarez's attention in what became increasingly heated scenes. Tom Brown, the co-promoter of the fight, stood between them when the 33-year-old Alvarez moved to confront De La Hoya. Undisputed super middleweight champion Canelo Alvarez gave his challenger Jaime Munguia nothing but respect in the lead-up to their May 4th clash. But there was plenty of vitriol between the Mexican superstar and his former promoter, Oscar De La Hoya. At the final pre-bout press conference, De La Hoya, who accused Alvarez of attempting to get him banned from promotional events, severely altered the fight week narrative at Wednesday's press conference by unleashing a pre-written rant aimed at his former fighter. Things got so heated on the dais that the normally mild-mannered Alvarez needed to be held back by security from attacking De La Hoya. Free time, grabbed my Twitter phone, and I was like, 
just fucking Twitter fingers turned to Twitter fingers. After the two aired out the dirty laundry between them, Canelo spent most of his professional career under the Golden Boy Promotions banner, transitioning from a bright young prospect to boxing's biggest attraction. But after becoming a multi-weight world champion, Canelo parted ways with De La Hoya's company in 2020 and aligned himself with both Matchroom Boxing and the PBC. It was a messy split, and the subsequent years have done nothing. Fill his dream and be world champion. Tienen que escribirle lo que tiene que decir este pinche maricón, cabrón. Tú lo escribes, ¿qué lo escribes, pendejo? The thing to quell the angst between the fighter and former promoter. I have faced a lot of challenges in my life. Yes, I have nothing but respect for Canelo Alvarez as a fighter. His record and ability speak for themselves, De La Hoya told the assembled media in Las Vegas. But he has spent much of the last two months insulting me rather than promoting this fight. Yes, I've faced a lot of challenges in my life. Yes, I've been to rehab several times. And yes, there were times when work was not my priority based on my mental health, which I neglected for so long. But that doesn't change the fact that Golden Boy built Canelo Alvarez. And just like that, just as I was saying that the fight had never really caught fire. Period. The company you fought under for decades has always had one name and it's mine. So put some freaking respect on it. Canelo does not take infringements lightly. When former opponent Caleb Plant got testy at a head-to-head -head in 2021, the Mexican star slapped Plant across the face following De La Hoya's verbal attack. Tonight, he will do just that, fulfill his dream and be world champion. Canelo was openly furious. Don't you talk to me like that the champion said. Don't you freaking talk to me like that. Canelo continued to hurl insults in Spanish. And as De La Hoya continued, Canelo, seated to his right, began to speak off mic toward him in Spanish. Oscar then brought up the time in 2018 when Mungia, then an unknown, tried to step in to replace Canelo against Gennady Golovkin following Alvarez failing two PD tests. Canelo then stood and approached De La Hoya continuing to speak. Canelo countered by accusing De La Hoya of stealing money from his fighters, and the language continued to worsen. He tried to steal money, and he's a freaking idiot, Canelo raged. He tried to keep the attention for him, not for Munguia. Freaking puppy. Fool. How did the Canelo De La Hoya beef start? <laughs> the first sign of a break in the relationship between the American and the Mexican came in 2019. A little bit easier for him. Yes, I have faced a lot of challenges in my life. Yeah. After Canelo beat Danny Jacobs, Dawson expected an immediate trilogy fight against Gennady Golovkin. There was open disdain between De La Hoya and Canelo immediately after the Mexicans' 2019 decision win over Jacobs. It's understood that Dawson, via conversations with Golden Boy, expected a trilogy fight with Golovkin immediately after Jacobs' victory. However, Canelo did not do this and moved on to fight Sergey Kovalev instead. By doing so, this left Canelo angry with Golden Boy Promotions, who had told Dawson, As for Jaime, he has always dared to be great, just as he's this Saturday night. And this serves as a bit of a search full circle for him. Remember when Jaime was 21 years old? They had his signature for the GGG fight, while the Mexican himself denied it and refused as it wasn't part of his contract. Both Canelo and Dazen have issues with Golden Boy. Canelo is saying, it sounds like you made a representation to Dazen that I was going to do things that are not in my contract with you, and I'm not required to do them, a source told ESPN at the time. Dazen, on the other hand, is saying to Golden Boy, you had represented to us that you had secured Canelo's approval and agreement to do these things, and you didn't. Ultimately, this led to a very messy split in 2020. Well, these are, these are shots he wants to do another one. I surprise someone of his experience is, you know, he's, he's tucked up nice. And there has been ill feeling ever since. And that's all for now. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified when we drop quality content like this. Until next time, peace out.